Courtney, it's Katie, and this is my video for last week, because it's actually Monday right now, but I just had a really busy weekend, so I never got around to film, but I do want you to know, I went to Target last week, I accepted your $10 Target challenge, and I think I beat it. I think I won, if we're making it a competition, which to me, everything is always a competition, but um, I got 10 items for less than $10, so without further ado, here they are. First off in the dollar section, because you have to stop there, um, I got this adorable gift bag uh, that was originally a dollar, but it was actually marked down for 50 cents. So that was one item for less than a dollar. Um, and then also in the dollar section, uh, for a dollar, I picked up this adorable little bucket pail thing that I'll probably put like post-it notes or pens and pencils in in my future classroom. So that's cute for a dollar. Um, uh, also in the dollar section, because you had St. Patrick's Day socks, I felt left out because I don't have any. Um, so I picked up my own little leprechaun socks for a dollar. So also a dollar. I think we're up to two fifty. Um, uh, you can never have enough thank you cards, especially with all the interviews that I'm doing nowadays, which is terrifying. Um, but I always like to send out thank yous after I complete an interview just to make sure that I follow through and have some sort of uh, feedback, kind of? I don't ask for feedback, but I give them, that sounds awful, I don't give them feedback, but I give them a thank you card. Um, so these are in the dollar section for a dollar. Um, also in the dollar section was nothing else, because everything else was further in the store, um, like these socks for a dollar fifty. So uh, there were more than a dollar, but my grand total is still under ten dollars. So these adorable fuzzy, super cozy socks, $1.50. Um, this gift bag, which I got two of, but I'm only counting it as one item in my 10 item haul, um, was 70 cents. It was originally a dollar, so it was marked down. I think it was post Valentine's Day, maybe. I don't know, but I could use this for Christmas or just birthday or random presents. So 70 cents for a gift bag. Um, also marked down were um, self-adhesive stencils of woodland creatures, which I think it's adorable because there's a moose one, and mooses are my favorite. But there's like bears and foxes and squirrels and bunnies and everything. So, but yeah, they're they're originally a dollar eighteen, and I paid eighty six cents for forty sheets of stickers, essentially, or stencils. They're stickers, but you use them as stencils. Also, markdown originally two ninety nine. I would never pay that. Um, I paid eighty eight cents for. I don't know how many are in here. 50 adorable paper clips that are actually squirrely squares. And I like them very much. They also came in purple, just in case you were wondering. Um, I have two last things for the $10 Target competition contest haul thing, challenge. Um, and the first is a giant Gatorade for a dollar and eight cents, which is great. And this one's my favorite flavor because it's delicious. And then the last thing was kind of a goof thing, but it's, do you remember Wonder Balls? Like the who, what, do, what, what's it, no Wonder Ball? I forgot the little banter. But um, they have Minion Wonder Balls, and it's not Wonder Ball, it's Choco Treasure. But this is only a dollar, and it's chocolate, so I got it. But anyway, that is all for my $10 Target challenge. Um, but you sent me to Target. So, obviously, I left with more than what I meant to. So I'm going to keep hauling and tell you that I spent more than $10 at Target, but I spent $9.52 on those 10 items. So I think I kind of won. But Target also won because they kept getting more of my money. Um, I spent $2.08 on a roll of gift wrap, but it's just like boring craft paper. But I just like to jazz it up a little bit with like ribbon or burlap or twine or something like that. Um, around Christmas, birthdays, anything. I got more than one roll of this too. So yeah, good times. But two dollars. It was originally two ninety nine. I want to say yeah, two ninety nine. So I mean, it wasn't a spectacular deal, but um, you can never go wrong with gift wrap. And for two dollars for thirty five square feet, thirty square feet, I thought it was a good deal. Um, also, on clearance, that's how I shop, apparently. Um, these were so cool, so I had to get them. They are six push pin hooks, and they're in like that cute gold finish. So you just like pin them to a bulletin board, and then you can have a hook, 
which is amazing. So you can like hang keys off of it, or like a lanyard, or a necklace or something. I don't know. Anything you want to hook on a bulletin board. So I thought that was really nice. Two dollars and eight cents. Um, on to clothing. I went a little crazy because I think I went on Thursday, I think it was, and I think that's the day, I might be wrong, don't quote me on this, but I believe Thursdays are the day they mark down clothing, um, and so there were so many options and I couldn't say no. So without further ado, I got a um, running, jogging hoodie kind of thing because I want to exercise more. It's just, it's getting nicer out and warmer. It's 70, 68 right now um, outside. And yeah, I should be, I'm going to stop filming and I'm going to go jogging. No, I'm not. I'm lying. I'm going to edit this and upload it. But um, the desire is there, so that's admirable. But anyway, I got this cool running hoodie with a hood and then uh, different colored sleeves. It's purple and the sleeves are like blackish. And then they have the really cool like, oh, I'm cold while I'm running. Let me put my thumb through the sleeve thing. That'll make me warmer. I don't know. Um, but the main thing, the selling point that convinced me was on the pocket they have a zipped pocket for your car key because I always like to go to Mount Trashmore with some friends and I always give my car key to my friend who always runs with pockets but I feel bad giving it to him because it might fall out or I, I just don't want him to be responsible for my key so this way I can have it in there and know it's secure so that was I threw it down too early 748 but it was 25 originally so that's like a bargain um, other clothing were these awesome sweatpants because you can never have too many sweatpants. Um, and these were originally $19.99 and I paid $5.98 for them. And they're just like this cool, like heathered, charcoal y gray um, elastic drawstringy things. And then there's like that cool texture halfway down them. And then they're elastic at the bottom. So love them. Super cozy. And also this pair of sweatpants because again, but pants are comfy. Um, these ones I'm turning into a polar bear apparently because they go with my super fuzzy white socks, which is apparently a reoccurring theme for this Target haul. But anyway, um, these sweatpants, they were originally $24.99, so $25, and I paid $7.48 for them, which is great. Um, but they have pockets and a little drawstring and elastic and elastic at the bottom, and they're just like the softest Sherpa. I'm pretending to be a sheep while I'm wearing them material and it's it probably won't stay like this as soon as I wash it and it probably won't stay white because I have dogs but and my own hair but um they're amazing and for 748 you can't go wrong so got those um to go along with the polar bear sherpa theme I got this amazing piece of clothing that was originally $34.99, but I paid $10.48 for it, which I think is an excellent bargain. Um, but it's a reversible vest thing, so you can put it on with the Sherpa side out, I suppose, um, and then it just kind of like drapes over you like this, or you can reverse it and wear the gray side out with the Sherpa on the inside. You just have to cut off the tag, which I will. Um, but I just, I love it, and it's so cozy. The one thing that I don't like about this is that the pockets, which does have pockets, are only on the white fluffy side. But I mean, I don't think it's possible for them to have made them on both, so. But I do like the fact that it even has pockets, because it's a vest, and I don't think vests normally have pockets. So anyway, super cool. I'm turning into a polar bear, for sure, piece of clothing. Last piece of clothing, it's very sparkly. Um, it's a skirt that was originally $25 and I paid $7.48 again for it. Um, but yeah, I just, I love sparkles for some reason. And so I would just pair this with like black tights, a black top, black booties, like boots, um, just to tone it down a little bit. Like I definitely would not add anything to jazz this up for an outfit because it's very loud by itself, but um, yeah, I just think it's an adorable skirt, and that's half of it. Um, there's the whole thing. But uh, yeah, super classy. I just need an excuse to wear it now. We'll see if I ever get one. Um, and then the last four things uh, were like home decor things, which I always love looking at Target. 
Um, one was like a really random thing for me because I have no interest in diffusers normally, but this one was on the end rack where all the clearance stuff normally is, and it was originally $15.49, but I paid $4.64 for a tomato flower and herb diffuser. And it just, it looks like the cutest little pot ever, and the smell of tomato flower and herbs is actually delicious. Um, I don't know, delicious? It's like refreshing. It's like a fresh scent. Um, it has notes of tomato, citrus, and basil, which is great. Um, but I just figured, you know, in my future kitchen that I can set this up and feel like I have my life together. Even if that's not the case, which it probably won't be. Um, and then the last three things, I have an obsession with copper lately. As you can see by these adorable little votive candle holders that were originally $12.99, and $14.99, but I paid $3.88 and $4.48 for. So they're really, really heavy. The outside is made of like this gorgeous marble, and then they have that like copper, I think it's copper, rose gold, I don't know, um, metallic aspect to the top of them. And then I just stuffed a little like pretend votive in there. I am planning on going out and getting actual like tea light candles, but for now, those will do. Um, and then the very last thing is a trinket tray because. Everyone needs a trinket tray, and this one was originally $24.99, but I paid $7.48, so I think I won here, clearly. Maybe. I don't know. Probably not. Um, this is actually not Nate Burkus, because normally I just, like, die over his things, but this is just Threshold, so Target's own brand. And I remember seeing them when they first came out, and there was a gold one, too, but I like, I really like the copper one better, so I'm glad I waited until it went on sale, and then I snagged it up. So, yes, thank you so much for your challenge. Um, my bank account does not thank you, but my future house and my, my room right now and my wardrobe thanks you immensely. So, it was so much fun, and I think that we should definitely do a similar type of challenge at Michael's, except I think realistically we should do more like a... 10 items for $20 or something like that because they're a little pricier. Maybe like 5 items for 15 or something like that. We'll see. But um, yeah, I had a lot of fun and I'm sorry this is late going up, but again, my weekend was crazy. Christine came down, so that was exciting. Um, her nephew's first birthday is March 22nd, but his dad's going, her brother, um, Christine's brother, is going out to sea soon, so we celebrated early. and. But yeah, it was a good weekend. Um, we, Christine and I also watched The Danish Girl, which was, I think, nominated for a bunch of Oscars. I think supporting actress or lead actress was one of them, and I think she actually won. But Eddie Redmayne was incredible in it. Um, you definitely need to check it out if you haven't already. It was a great movie. We watched it last night. We made a Boston cream pie. I'm just rambling now, but you know, for the future, if I watch this video back, um, I would like to know what I did. Um, Oh, uh, today, Monday, um, I actually just walked in the door from um, tutoring again at um, the middle school that I'm working with right now, and I have officially accepted the, the um, long-term subbing position um, with the class that I'm working with, so that'll be, take me up until June, and then I've also already done um, one interview at a middle school for an English position for next year, and I think it went well. That was on Friday. And then I just got off the phone before I started this um, with another middle school who also wants to interview me on Thursday morning. So, it's all very exciting and terrifying, but um, yeah, big things coming, hopefully. Uh, we'll see. I don't want to get my hopes up, but I'm excited. So, anyway, I will see you another time. I will write you back soon, and I'm looking forward to your video next week. I'll talk to you later.